Hello, I'm Katie. Welcome to the Planner Channel. In this video, we are doing a collaboration with Tamara, the paper and pen girl, along with a whole bunch of other planner babes. Actually, I think about 26 in total. And this is all called the Seasons of Planning Collaboration. You can learn all about the series of videos in Tamara's first video, which I'll link in the description box. Um, which will tell you all about the collaboration and also about a giveaway. So you'll definitely want to check that out. So the way the collaboration is going to work is that each planner babe will post a video at noon each day of the collaboration time, um, starting with December 1st. So this is the December 17th video and you should be coming over from the organized money on December 16th and tomorrow's video will be Amanda's favorites. So make sure to take a look in the description box for the links to all of those videos. So each of us are going to be answering seven questions that Tamara has put together for us. So let's just get right into it with the first question, which is, why did you start planning? I have always been a planner for as long as I can remember. I've always had diaries and journals and plans and calendars, all of that all the time for as long as I can remember. I've always tracked everything, everything, listed, written things down. I've always done that. I, know, I don't remember starting to plan. So I think I'm going to skip and talk a little bit more about the answer to the second question, which is why did you join the planner community? Um, so that can, we can talk about my happy planner journey, which started in 2016. I was looking for either another paper planner or a planning app. When I was looking for an app, I was researching online for um, paper versus digital planners. And I found, of course, a world of choices between digital planning and paper planning. But somehow I came across a video with the happy planner in it. And it was decorative and fun. And I was hooked instantly. I purchased my first happy planner in the fall of 2016, I got a mini happy planner and started to play with that and received a classic size happy planner for Christmas that year and have planned every single day since January 1st of 2017 in the happy planner. So the way that I joined the planner community online was kind of, uh, it just kind of happened. I was looking for some kind of um, business that I can do along with uh, working full-time and I was looking at all different choices and if I was planning in my happy planner trying to come up with something I could do so one day I'm sitting there planning in my happy planner and decorating and my honey's like why don't you just do planning you're already planning you're, you're already doing all of this stuff why don't you just share that and make that into your online business so that's exactly what i did i started on social media which i had no social media presence before then um, and just jumped right in with online planning and it has been so much fun and so rewarding since i did that so now we're going to talk about the seasons of life. The next question is what season of life did you just come out of? And I feel like this has been a very long season of work, working and working and working, saving and building and learning. It's, it's felt like a, a big build up. We bought our first home, which is, was a huge project. And then immediately after, we bought our home. A huge hurricane came and hit. We live in Florida. And so we've had a, a ton of repairs. So um, that's, a, that's a big project, a big part of life. So that I feel like we're kind of getting over the hill on that to where sometime within the next couple years, our house will be finally 
like started. I don't feel like we even live here yet. So that's been a big project. And then the other piece over the last many years, um, and for me, it's all about the planner channel. I've been wanting to have a project, something to do uh, for a long, long time. So for a long time, I've been looking for something to be my thing to do. And I feel like I finally found it in the planner community and in the planner channel and the planner school. And that has really just started for me. So the next question, what season of life are you in now? And that I feel like I finally found my place here. Um, in the planner community and I love it. It's so much fun um, and it's something that um, I just, I love to do and love to share. So um, that's where I feel like I am in the season of life, which is I found my place. So that's a great feeling. Question number five is what season of life are you about to go into? So I feel like the season that I'm about to go into is to continue to grow, which is my 2019 one little word, and then also learn and teach. So as I'm growing the planner school, I'm going to have to get better at sharing and at teaching. But at the same time, I'm learning all of these things like building websites and social media, all of that. So there's has been a lot of learning for me, and I'm not even close to done. So learning and teaching are both going to be big parts of the next season of planning for me. And of course, both of those things a planner can help you with. So I will be learning a lot and teaching and sharing a lot in the upcoming year and beyond. The next question is, did your planning needs change or did they remain the same? And I have two answers to this question. I feel like everyone always should always have a planner. And now not everyone likes to plan. I like to plan and I have to understand that some people don't plan, which blows my mind, but some people don't and you can't make them. <laughs> but I love to plan and I think everyone should. So I feel like everyone needs a planner to manage their time and I feel like that doesn't change. And it can be any planner, it doesn't matter, but everyone needs a planner to manage their time. So what changes is your priorities and the planners that you're using to manage your priorities. So in 2020, um, I'm so excited about my 2020 lineup and I can't wait to use it. I've got my main planner and then I've got a planner for the planner channel and the planner school because that's my big goal and my big focus. Then I've got a planner for health, wellness, fitness, which um, I think is very important. And with all of the things I've been doing, I've been feeling super close to burnout and exhaustion. And I've got to get a handle on trying to stay healthy and also doing all the things. So that's a balance and that's going to be a focus for me in 2020. So there's a planner for that. Then I have gratitude and journaling, which I love and I've been doing every single day for a long, long time. Then I have a planner for budgeting and that's going to be in the dashboard layout, which is a new kind of setup. And I'm really excited about that this year. Budgeting, of course, um, maybe not, of course, maybe some of you are really good at budgeting, but budgeting is challenging for me and I'm, I'm trying to stay put together a budget and stay on budget so that's another focus for me this year and that's my lineup those are my priorities of course as a mom um, that's another focus that stays in my main planner and really that goes above everything else as a mom that comes first the last question question number seven do you have any words of wisdom for your fellow planner babes and oh my gosh, words of wisdom. There are so many things I could share. Um, if your planner isn't something that makes you want to use it every single day, you need to keep trying until you find that feeling. Because if you do use your planner every day, you can create some massive value for yourself and you can change your life. You need to keep trying things until your planner is something that you want to work in every single day. Because the more you study, learn, track, create good habits, you can change your life by doing all of those things. But if your planner doesn't make you want to 
get in there and wor work and track and plan and write and think and study, then you, you need to keep looking until you find that. And I wouldn't call it planner peace, um, but you've got to have a planner that you enjoy, that works for you, that you like. And maybe it means finding a different brand, finding a different layout, finding a different size. Maybe it's decorating. Um, maybe it's accessories. Maybe you need the right pen. But I think you need to try all those things until you find till you get to a place where you love using your planner. Because once you get there, you can create some massive value with the things that you can do with your planner. Because you can capture good ideas in your planner. You can track your time and make better choices about how to use your time. You can create a focus for yourself. You can create a strategy for yourself. You can create good habits for yourself. You can change your mental outlook with your planner. Your planner can do so much for you if you'll simply use it. So keep trying until you get to a place to where you love your planner. So your next video for tomorrow to watch is Amanda's favorites. Of course, all the links are in the description. If you like this video, be sure to subscribe, share with your friends, hit the thumbs up button, click the link in the description to download your free power plan checklist, check out the list of videos from all the other planner babes inside the collaboration, go back to Tamara's first video, The Paper and Pen Girl, and make sure you know how to enter the giveaway drawing. If you're brand new to creative planning, check out The Planner School at theplannerschool.com and the first class in The Planner School, Planning 101, The Power Plan System, where you can learn all about decorative and functional creative planning. Leave a comment down below and ask me a question. I would love to know what your questions are in your planner journey. Where are you? What are you struggling with? Is there anything that I can help you with? I hope you enjoyed the Seasons of Planning collaboration video and I will see you in the next video.